welcome back to another vlog. For today's vlog, as you can see, I'm wearing outside clothes because we're heading out. I'm gonna be taking myself on a date and you guys are gonna come along with me and spend the day with me. I don't know. I kind of forgot how to do this thing, so like, please bear with me if it's like, I have awkward airs. But like, please, I'm working on it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going outside because like, I don't know, the reason why I want to go out is because I'm almost not a teenager anymore. So I feel like I should be cherishing this few days that I'm still a teen because this won't ever go back again. <laughs> With that said, I'm going to be showing you my fit check. But anyway, I've been wanting to go to this place for like a very long time now and today's the day that I had the time and it didn't disappoint me. I like this place. Honestly, if I could spend a, my birthday in a restaurant, it would be this. I love the backyard vibe. It's nice. I love this. story because I remember when I was 12 years old I remember asking around quite a few people like what's it like being a teenager because I remember back then I was so idealistic and I had a lot of plans in my mind on how I should spend <laughs> my teenage years and today as I look back on it can I just say what a roller coaster ride it has been like it's full of ups and downs <laughs> Over the past decade, I feel like I had a lot of experiences and I've been through a lot of different situations and some of it were like sweet and some of it were challenging but nevertheless, I'm grateful for everything in between because somehow it shaped me to become who I am today and yeah. Anyway, as I grow from this idealistic and excited teenage kid to a, what I could say, a more mature and a more realistic um, teenage girl, I'm grateful for everything that I've experienced, even though I didn't get to experience some things the way I wanted or the way I planned them to be, because I actually had something better. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you of course to my family because they've been my number one and my strongest support system and i'd also like to give a huge shout out to all my friends because i i actually like have a lot of circle of friends and i'm grateful for each and every one of you because those are the people that have seen me through it all yeah i love you guys if you're watching this is this is really Today, I'm reminded by one of my favorite birthday greetings of all time. Um, it's from my 18th birthday and Auntie Cindy gave it to me. Gave it to me? She wished it to me? Like, she wrote it for me? <laughs> Basta ganyan. Anyway, so Auntie Cindy's birthday greeting goes like, Dearest Ate Axi, 18 is old enough to be tough yet compassionate. Strong, yet vulnerable. Wise, yet prone to falter. Knowledgeable, yet inexperienced. And a lot more midways and split. It's okay to be uncertain at times. Just walk with faith, love, joy, and hope in your heart. And be grateful even if some special people or life events may have disappointed or will disappoint you. You are special, you are loved, you are beautiful in the eyes of God. Love and praise on your birthday. And every time I read that, it always like pinches uh, 
my left atrium. Whoa. This sweet thing is something that I think about most of most of the time. I think about it a lot because it. I feel like it's so relevant, especially because I'm in a stage in my life where, like, sometimes things just get so confusing and I'm unsure about a lot of things and I'm always reminded that like, it's okay. It's okay to be uncertain at times. Just walk with faith, love, joy, and hope in your heart. So, like, thank you so much. Whoa. It brings me so much comfort that... I, I feel so assured now. There's a lot of time. I have plenty of time to figure things out. My wish for the 20 evening, for the 20 scene, I hope you're less scared. You know what I'm saying? Because, because I know you're a very ambitious girl. I know you have a lot of plans. Yeah. Just, just like how you planned your <laughs> teenage years. Uh, I hope you have the courage to pursue everything you've ever dreamed of, everything you've ever aspired to, and all your dreams, because I know you're a very, very ambitious girl deep inside your heart. You have a lot of plans for, for your family, for yourself, for your future. I know, I know there's gonna be something in your heart. <laughs> all while being remaining empathetic and grateful for everything, for every blessing he receives. That's all. That's my wish. Also to you that's your that's watching this, thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here. That means that means you support me. <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video guys. I don't know. I wanna start like a 20s diaries, but like I'm also scared but like what I said I hope you're less scared so I might as well start that okay bye hey guys so I'm not going to break up because I'm here now I'm going to break up I said mom can I eat first I'm going to eat first I'm very light and I'm going to eat the food because Gutom na po talaga ako. And it's already 12 midnight. So, talaga naman. Gutom na talaga ako. I'm so happy kasi June na guys. <laughs> it's already my birth month, mga darling. So like, I'm so happy. Excited ako mag-birthday. Excited ako mag-bente. But at the same time, I'm scared. Pero palagi naman ganun. Pero... Mix ko siya palagi ng excitement and like, anxiety. Pero, kaya ko to. Lunch time! Hi! If ever man, kunig YouTube ko hindi, ikaduha mo ng appearance ng YouTube. Yeah. Adobo, rice, banana. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> night ship. Pag ada ngan 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 <laughs> so I just got off my duty and it was a night shift duty kaya kakauwi ko lang and it's already 7.25 a.m. and I'm waiting for them to open the door kasi I don't know I don't know I'm so sleepy I wanna sleep look at my eyes They're, they look so drowsy and ayun, I can't think of anything else aside from sleep because I haven't sleep yet. That's all.